Composed of water, sand, and lime, Eton autoclaved aerated concrete precision blocks are 30% lighter, yet 50% larger than conventional masonry blocks. Lightweight, yet solid, a single Eton precision block can safely support an axial load of more than 20 tons. Pallets of Eton block are typically placed on the job site slab with a moffet or fork truck. In addition, a pallet jack can move the pallets around the job site. The use of a bandsaw available through Eton will expedite the installation process while providing better precision. Along with other Eton compatible tools, the bandsaw is delivered to the job site. Besides the bandsaw, these are the other tools typically used with Eton. Various sizes of notched trowels are available for purchase from Eton. Delivered to the job site with a precision block, Etong thin bed mortar is used for block installation. One bag of Etong mortar will generally install a half a pallet of block. Filling a five gallon bucket with approximately four inches of water starts the mixing process. Add about three quarters of the bag of mortar. This will allow room for additional mortar and water to be added to reach the proper consistency. The final consistency should resemble that of drywall mud. Stacking the block in this configuration is recommended. This configuration expedites the installation process by keeping the surfaces free of dust and debris. Once the block is stacked for convenience during installation, the slab is shot in to determine its highs and lows. Etong recommends using a laser to shoot in the slab. However, a transit can also be used. Unlike traditional masonry, a maximum of three quarters of an inch bed joint is recommended by Etong. Several reinforcement systems are compatible with Eton. Most are cast in at the time the slab is poured. One is standard rebar. With this system, Eton cord blocks are used. Eton recommends pre-soaking the cord block prior to the bond beam pour. Another Eton compatible reinforcement system is the Go-Bolt system, which uses a threaded rod to make the connection for proper reinforcement. Other similar threaded rod assemblies may be utilized. Use a flat blade screwdriver to back the rod out of its protective sleeve. This exposes the rod for the coupler connection later in the installation. Next, verify the threaded rod locations. Typical corner placement should be approximately 4 inch by 4 inch from the outside edge of the slab, with mid-wall threaded rod locations approximately 5 inches from the outside edge of the slab. A simple piece of duct tape can protect the threads from mortar or thin bed. If errors occur with the placement of the reinforcement, the slab can be drilled and the reinforcement rod epoxied into the slab. Check with local building officials regarding details. The first level of Etong, called the leveling course, is used to correct any deviations in the slab. Accuracy of the leveling course is vital to the remainder of the installation. The head joints use Etong thin bed mortar. Remove the clean block from the stack. Note the ergonomic handholds on Etong precision blocks, which contribute to ease of installation. Set the level course blocks into a full bed of type M, N, or S mortar, which is supplied by the project's general contractor. A rubber mallet is used to assist with leveling. Check the level on both sides of the block for accuracy. The top of the leveling course block is reshot in with a laser to establish the leveling course elevation. Typical corners are squared in at 90 degrees. Once the corners are set in at the established elevation, then the block between the corners can be ranged in using a string line. For long walls, a masonry twig will ensure the proper height. Cord block, available from Etong, is placed at the location of the reinforcing rods. The first cord block in the leveling course is notched to create an inspection hole.
When using a threaded rod assembly, save the cutout piece for fill-in after inspection. Absolute accuracy is of paramount importance to the leveling course. Remember to use a full bed of type M, N, or S mortar, but no more than three quarters of an inch. Scrape off any excess mortar. Imperfections that occur in the leveling course can be corrected using a rasp and sanding board. It is extremely important that the top of the block is brushed off following sanding. Every course should be brushed prior to installation of another course of Etong block. Dirt and debris contribute to inaccuracies. Etong thin bed mortar contains very high bonding properties. Etong recommends that the installation crew protect raw concrete surfaces such as garages and porches. By spreading job site sand on the concrete floors, bonding and staining from the thin bed mortar will be prevented. Again, the top of the block should be brushed off. To ensure proper placement, window openings are marked onto the